In the beginning, we were slaves to the violent chaos of this world. But there was one among us who rose up to lead us out of darkness. The ones who followed became the Legion of Dawn and protected those who could not protect themselves. In the end, she traded her life for our future. It is in her honor that we fight. And it is her legacy that will carry the day. Grenade, right. refresh. Right. So, so let's let's let me show oh, you. you. Want to explain? I want to. I want to yeah, yeah, yeah. see idea. it. Right? Great so, idea. So I think it's about twelve seconds. So you, you see, see the, the little yep. little bar raise. Now watch what happens when I hover. Yeah, it's half. Much faster. Like it's half. Ridiculous. Yeah. And you can see is they had the buffs on the left. Is that right? Yes. Yep. So yeah, let me let me. Do I can't that remember again. which one was which, but so uh, Raptor's relief is the cooldown reduction, yep. and Raptor's sense is is, is uh, my weak point, point damage. Yeah. So you can see, and you see the electric explosion there that yep, happened. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so let's do. So you've got to uh, get defeat an enemy with your missile yep. launcher. So I'm going to do that. Oh. Oh, uh, you didn't. Didn't kill him. Didn't kill him. It's okay. I do a bunch of damage okay. with that grenade, so it's cool, and it comes back fast. Yeah. You better get on the ground. Okay. So let's let's see if we can get this here. Okay. So you defeated him. Oh, see the you got yep. Victor's boost, I guess, which is grenade does extra damage, and then you got the grenade kill. Right. If that was a multi kill, if it I would have got shield. your shield back. Yeah, and if right. it was two, we'd see our ultimate meter go up. Dip up. Um, and I think one of the bugs here is you have a bunch of plus thruster, and I think it's not it's quite not, working. It's not working, nor is um, the extra, the ultimate regeneration that I have. Oh, just it's just not, okay, base yeah. regeneration isn't, okay. isn't working either. Yeah, so you'd be able to hover longer and probably right. get your ultimate even faster than what we're seeing right here. Oh, I missed. That's fine, because if you miss, you've got to get those weak point hits there. Okay, so while right, you're doing so this, I'll field some extra questions as you keep explaining stuff. Um, all right, so yeah, the grenades are really the grenades are really powerful, but but slow, and we balance them that way. Um, but this this but is a, a good way around that. Right, right, right. I ran into some okay, so here you go. Now, there. now we're perfectly set up. Boom into. Oh, oh I didn't really? kill him. Yeah. Okay. So I chose hard difficulty. Um, oh, did you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> for the for, so that we didn't one shot everything. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you, you, some of the, I mean sometimes the, these things, uh, but you have to choose the right targets. Right, um, right. No, but I think you know just even showing off how when you weren't hovering versus hovering, like look how fast those cooldowns are coming up. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy when you're in hover mode. Uh, and then Darren's actually doing something uh, might maybe subtle here, but he's purposely playing around the water. So as he's overheating, he's coming back and cooling himself faster by playing through the water. Right. So there's a lot of like, there's some environmental things you can do here to, to help. All right, okay, there, there we, we go. go. Oh, that might be it. Nice. Okay. Oh, so your ultimate shot me out of the air. So if you also now, you could get your ultimate going. Yep. Awesome, all right, I'll answer some questions. Um, do bosses drop unique loot? Like if I did a stronghold and killed one of those giant <laughs> Gorilla looking thing. A gorilla Could I get, I don't know, a crazy quad barreled shotgun? Man, I like the creativity in, in the question. Um, I have to make that. So I think we've kind of addressed this, but generally the answer is um, uh, by playing the game, there are loot tables, and the harder the content you play gives you higher chances of rarity amongst the, the loot tables. And those loot tables are kind of, if you're playing a ranger, you're more likely to get more ranger gear or, or mostly ranger gear. Um, separately to that, we have a challenge system. So uh, you can think of it as what some other games kind of use achievements as like, but there might be a challenge to be like, hey, go kill the giant gorilla thing uh, 10 times, and on the 10th time you get a specific reward. And so we're trying to work out exactly how we'll kind of mix those challenges in to the rest of the game. 
Uh, but the primary thing will be their loot tables, and then between crafting and challenges, there'll be some outs uh, to chase certain things. Um, yep. <clears throat> okay, is there anything else you want to show? Because we're actually over time. Is there anything else you want to show here? I mean, not really. I think we've we've complicated this enough. Um, <laughs> there's more things I could add to this build. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that okay. I thought I should put in here, but. But we want um, to think this it's to enough. be the kickoff, right? So players yeah. could go, oh, wow, okay. Just with those things they've told us, which is only a small subset of all small of the subset. options available, man, what are all the different kind of options and thoughts we have of cool things that, that we can do? Um, so what we might do then is um, flip. Well, actually, you can just keep playing around for a bit. I'll answer a few more questions, and oh, yeah. then we'll, we'll start to wrap it up. Um, um, so supportability got asked as a question. Oh yeah, we didn't show it, um, which actually, for what you're doing guys. here, would be super useful. It would be probably. super. Would have been super useful. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can. It's free play, folks. So I don't know where the people are. Uh, oh, there's um, a. Well, there we go. There was an event. Oh, you missed it. Those left. It's fine. There's some down there to the right. I shouldn't backseat drive. I think the less we went right run into the wall. <laughs> don't let cool. Dan backseat drive. Um, um, I just need. Uh, so the 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 equipment that I have here is. Um, the muster point, the rally point, rather. So, uh, I, don't you have bulwark on? Do I? Okay, you're right. So this puts a shield around me, um, so that pen, the projectiles can't get in. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it blocks them, uh, which is super handy. Ah, oh, wyverns. Against wyverns. Do it. No, I was overheating. Remember. <laughs> But I can I can pop it in the air. Um, if I time it incorrectly, I can't. Yeah. So the bulwark it is. Oh, nice! You found the ring gate. Um, the bulwark will prevent projectiles coming in. So um, <laughs> if you didn't uh, get set on fire all from the, time, the raptors and shot exactly. out of the sky, it would have been um, much more dramatic. But see, now you're hovering though to get it back faster, so we can show it off. Right. It's kind of cool. So they have um, a long cooldown, but it's it's shortened when I'm yeah. when I'm hovering. Okay, so we showed that uh, is loot individual or shared? So loot is instance to be individual loot. Uh, and again, there's no trading. It's really about uh, you having to go and earn the loot yourself. And of course, any loot you get, you'll oh, you got two Ursics. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna be able to. Probably I should get out of run here. away. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, and remember, you want to salvage loot you're not going to use to get crafting materials to craft things that you may really want to have. Yep. Uh, do inscription stack. I assume this they means do. if I had two plus five percent flight times. Would I? Would they work together? They do. Yep, okay. for sure. They sure do. Um, a question was: Will uh, high-level gear have wildly impactful abilities? Um, I think that was an older question before we started showing all this. So the answer is yes. The answer as is you yes. can see, right. uh, pretty pretty impactful stuff. You can work in kind of your own rotations, if you will, um, or play styles based on putting it together. <laughs> I think you should just like I know, I know. Go, go I'm away. tempting, tempting fate. <laughs> so that's an interesting point, because you had mentioned this to me, we were playing around with this yesterday. You're like, you know, this build is really about having to defeat a lot of enemies pretty quickly. That's where you get the most value. So then when you fight like an Ur6, like this isn't the best build to go and fight single Target high, right. Right. high hit point, I can't, high damage. I can't get those creatures. those those. And that's the trade off, right? Yep. Now you could have made a different build that was balanced for that, and or my a impact build that build was just been focused. Great. Yeah, your impact would have been perfect for it. It's all about single target damage or weapons. Um, so there's going to be a lot of trade offs here. And then if you think you're just one player, you know, ideally you have a squad of of you and three of your best friends, um, and you're trying to work out the builds that support the whole group. Um, all four of you together. Right. So you might make a mixture of some people are there to, to take out the trash, so to speak, the the, uh, the easier to kill creatures, and other people are there to deal with the kind of um, you right. know priority target things, either yeah. the the apex creatures like the Ursix or even like a Scar Heavy, um, you know things that, that are harder to defeat. So another another uh, interesting thing that we see here because it's not working unfortunately is I really needed the hover time to work. <laughs> yeah. the, the the me stacking that stuff. Yeah. Like just loosely for players, like do you think it would be about twice? Like how much more hover are um, we talking? Because it's not infinite. You no, 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 it's not infinite. Oh, that was an awesome combo. Yeah. 
There you go. Yeah. So um, it's not infinite, and these guys have a lot of health. Um, yeah. Uh, but it yeah. needs to be extended to a, to a point where I can I can reliably do a combo and yeah. not have to worry about falling out of the sky. Right, right. Okay, that's cool. That's that's all part of the in-development nature of us grabbing a, a recent build <laughs> that has some bugs. No big deal. Um, do enemies scale with your gear score? Or probably a better question is, how do enemies scale? Because we've they, talked about right. friends of any level can play together. So right. how, how would it work? So the key to making that work is that, that enemies scale to your uh, your pilot level. Right. Um, there are there are things that scale uh, slightly differently, but the creatures. Yeah. So the biggest gunner. boost you can get. Oh man, he's just he wants it. Uh, the biggest boost he's you can tough. get is increasing your rarity. Is that right? Um, like any increasing given rarity and item. Uh, increasing yeah. rarity item would level be the best way to get ahead. Item level and uh, um, rarity. Yep. Okay. Cool. And then um, we've talked about this before, but you know if Darren's level. 20 and I'm level 10, we can play together because we'll do, without getting into it, relative damage to the creatures and they'll do relative damage to us. <laughs> so we can play together. Um, but when Darren has a build like this with all these synergies, he will be more powerful than I will. Or he will be able to defeat yep. things faster because he has all these extra synergies and he has a breadth of things available to him. Um, but we can still play together and, and have a lot of fun. Uh, we would, he would never take me to do the hardest Endgame stuff. Yeah, that I think you probably out, wouldn't. You wouldn't he would come it, on my crit path missions, or we we'd play, you know, whatever piece of content together on some of the regular difficulties, and we'd be having a great time. Um, yep. Are there builds that can improve your melee? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, I was the, uh, of all the somebody, choices. Somebody, somebody <laughs> select, somebody suggested that I actually make a, a tanky ranger uh, melee build, and I could have done that too. Yeah, right. lots of. Lots of uh, melee uh, components um, and things that apply to that. Oh. So one question was, can you show the other gun? Which I think <laughs> is not working. Is that it right? It doesn't it's work. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited to, to, to play with it. You got then, like 42 minutes in before being caught with a yeah. weapon that doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, we found out that was uh, bugged. Uh, we have top people fixing said Our bug, but it's not, uh, it's not part of this build right now. Okay, so we might do, I don't know, two more questions and then um, we will sign off. Um, we'll get a summary posted of the stream and if there are questions in Reddit and, or, or other uh, parts of social media, like we're kind of around in general, we'll, we'll poke in and, and see if we can answer some for you. Um, uh, if we wanted to get, yeah, just a couple more questions. So I've seen this a couple of times, will there be swords or other uh, things? So right now the way it works is each javelin has its own melee ability. Mm -hmm. So the ranger has the shock mace, it just has the shock mace, there are no other things. Um, we like the idea of maybe somewhere down in the future, like we could do some more stuff, but at launch everyone kind of has their one thing. Um, right. And that will scale with pilot level oh, yeah. and things oh, yeah. like that. Um, so the next question, I'll, I'll field this one as well. Uh, what about raids and endgame content? So uh, that's a much longer answer. Um, so a lot of um, the kind of core loop to the game uh, as you get through the crit path and get towards the endgame content uh, is around taking on more challenging and more challenging content at those higher difficulties to get uh, more awards. Right. Um, then the question says, but hey, like I would like aspirational content. Like it's important to have aspirational content. Mm -hmm. And so we have some things coming that we're not quite ready to talk about. Um, but as we get into the new year, uh, we'll give some more detail on that. Um, but certainly at launch, there's a lot of content and a lot of difficulty levels and a lot of ways to challenge yourself with you and your friends to try to get these rewards find out what these amazing builds are, find the builds that are right for you, find the build that's right for you and your group, find the build that's right for you and your group across the four javelins, across multiple loadouts. You know, there's really a lot of, of stuff to chase there um, and a lot of amazing content to play uh, to do it. Um, but we'll talk about some of that other stuff uh, a bit later. When can we see the intercept the point of view? So, for those paying attention, <laughs> A certain person promised we would show the interceptor perspective next he did? stream. Yeah, but what happened is last stream we had a couple of technical problems and we didn't get to show it. And then we we promised we would show loot, 
but showing loot on the interceptor that you'd never seen wasn't really going to make sense. So we wanted to yeah. show the ranger so you could compare it to what the ranger we've showed before. Sure. Oh. So our hope is that next time we do a gameplay stream, no, that's a gameplay stream, that we will show the interceptor's perspective. And so I realize I promised this thing. Um, it accidental promise breaking, not non intentional. Um, I would but, have shown it for him. <laughs> but thanks, Darren. But <laughs> oh, uh, we will show it. We'll show it next stream. Uh, next stream that we show gameplay. How many caveats do I need here? <laughs> I, know. I need a lawyer present. Um, but yes, we, we want to show off. Like, we love the Uniceptor 2. Like, we're really yeah. excited. I mean, it was the last Javelin that we built as a team, um, and it's been shown the least, and it's amazing. So we want to show it off as well. All right, so that's all the time we have for questions. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a wrap up here. So, what are some of the things we covered? Let's not go through it, but just wow. talk about it. So we talked about pilots and pilot levels, how that works. There's lots of loot in the game. It comes in multiple rarities. As you push through rarities, you get more inscriptions. Mm -hmm. The inscriptions are random from a big pool of over 100 or about 100 right. different things. Um, you can combine all of these things together to make unique builds as you get towards the end game and, and you get some of the higher end rarities, uh, like the build we've shown off today. Uh, within the forge itself, you can equip the three gear pieces, the two weapons, and then up to six components. And all of that as you level unlocks. So at right. level one, you can you have like a weapon and two gear pieces. And then at level four, you get like the second weapon. And at level, I don't remember, 12 or six, you get the third gear piece, or so however it works. And so all that unlocks on your journey uh, to max pilot level. Um, so that's kind of what we've covered today. We looked at the Colossus and the Ranger. Um, so that was that. Um, uh, we're really excited to show this stuff off. You know, it's, it's been a long time working on this and, and it's great to, to show it off. Uh, obviously, thanks to all of our amazing fans for tuning in again. Um, you know, this community has been so great, so positive, um, and we really love uh, interacting with all of you. So thanks for coming to watch us. Um, thank you to our amazing production team who set this up today. Um, I don't know if you guys saw any of the photos we posted, but we really did a double upgrade to our yeah. streaming setup this time around. It's, fancy. And it's been amazing. It's fancy. We have microphones and all this cool stuff. Um, it's not that fancy, I guess, but um, <laughs> we do have lots of fancy <laughs> stuff. And, and the, the, the team actually was here super late last night, so thank you all so much. Obviously, thank you to the amazing dev team who built all this stuff. We get to represent them. Uh, which is great for us, but but there are yep. lots of people doing all this work in the background. Um, so we're we're thankful to share that on behalf of, of them. Uh, we'll be announcing our next stream here pretty shortly um, uh, to let you get give you all a heads up of what we'll stream next. Um, if you want to find out that information, you can follow uh, us on Twitter at, at @anthemgame. Uh, you can follow me at, at Ben Ervo because I like to go rogue and announce things sometimes also. <laughs> um, but with all of that said and done, did you want to wish a farewell to anyone? Yeah, uh, farewell to anyone in particular. Anyone no. who came, to, <laughs> who came to, to nerd out with me about builds, which is... Um, Probably my favorite thing in the world. Like when Darren and I play games together, this is where he gets deep. Like oh, yeah, he gets is, lost in builds, and it's is, like, man, can we just play the game? Well, I've got to do my thing. Yeah, no, this is this yeah. is uh, this, so. Your interests uh, uh, very closely aligned to our interests when it comes to um, having really cool things to allow you to customize your play. Yep. Um, and be different than each other. Everyone wants to be uh, individual. Right, um, so and they'll see be, who can find that unique build that, right. that kind of blows everyone's mind, and we think there'll be a lot of community back and forward around trying to work. Right, it out. yep, and that's uh, that's one of my favorite parts of uh, being a developer. Awesome. Well, Darren, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, it was awesome having your expertise to kind of talk through this with everyone. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's been a really fun stream, and we will see you all next time. Bye bye, my folks. I have seen the power of the anthem. Destroy entire civilizations. You have no idea what the heart of rage can do to that person. I feel a new power in the world. It's calling me. For generations, our people struggled just to survive. Ready go. Let's go! The javelins allowed us to fight back the chaos. <laughs> Protected our families, loved ones. Remember, 
We're a team. I'm right there with you. It's a freelancer job. Always has been. But the anthem still rages. And walls can only do so much. But with the power of the anthem at my fingertips, I will end all this needless suffering.